Like many other people with disabilities in Uganda, Fred Batale has gone through several challenges. Coming from a poor family, attaining education was difficult because of his disability. I studied in the village and then when I finished my primary level, it was very hard to join secondary because I didn't have a wheelchair. I didn't have any skill in my head which I could do maybe to earn a living. So it was very hard until my mother struggled and I got into second. Fred failed to join university and ended up as a hawker on the streets of downtown Kampala. It was here that someone sympathized with him and helped him join university on the government sponsorship program. Fred earned a degree in art and wants to use this knowledge to empower other disabled people like him. My first week, only four people turned up. Four people turned up and then I got a friend who is an artist. He's not a person who is disabled, but he does screen printing. So we started with him. The group gathers once every Saturday to learn how to make handcrafts. About 20 people with various forms of disabilities have gained life skills here. The owner of this art school hopes to change lives of the physically disabled through art by making them self-reliant. The group collects anything from bottle tops to cardboard and craft art pieces. These items are sold and the money distributed among themselves. When I was a bicycle mechanic, I would just sit in one place and wait for customers. But after gaining the crafting skill, I earn more and also know very many people who double as my customers. The handcrafts are sold as far as Europe. They say many of their buyers are foreign nationals who in turn have started donating wheelchairs. Some of the wheelchairs are given out to disabled people in the community. People living with disabilities oftentimes face exclusion in accessing employment, education and health care and Fred Batale aims at changing the lives of more than a hundred people living with disabilities in less than five years. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.